Awareness, awareness, awareness. Ari Joseph bringing you awareness. Check out this. Listen properly, entirely. Awareness. But we need to talk about Cinemix. And Cinemix is spelled S E N O M Y X. S E N O M Y X. And all of you listening can go to stopthecrime.net, type that in our search bar, and you will find this information. It's very startling. You're going to see photographs that are going to be very, very disturbing. But more importantly, you're not going to want to eat this. Okay? So we're going to talk about what this is. Um, there's a list of companies that are using human fetal cells from aborted babies as a flavor enhancement in our food supply. Pepsi was busted for doing that. Pepsi was using uh, that as a flavor enhancer in their cola. Yeah, PepsiCo is, is certainly one of them, but the list is very long, and it's important for everybody to download the flyer that we have on StopTheCrime.net so you don't consume uh, the aborted fetal tissue. What does it do? Well, it incites anger, and it literally rewires our brain as we cannibalize ourselves. The same thing, of course, which happened with mad cow disease when they were grinding up roadkill and other cattle and feeding it to the cattle. We're being fed our own species, and we must know the products that are um, certainly implementing this. So I'm going to just read some of this to you now. But again, I, I, I caution you when you type in the list of companies using, using fetal cells, from aborted babies, which you can do. Again, the list of companies using, using fetal cells from aborted babies. You're going to see a very disturbing photograph. But uh, Cinemix uh, is listed on its website, and its part, it partners decided to ignore the letter from the Right to Life group that was um, certainly organizing against the use of humans in the food supply. And sadly, the Right for Life group uh, lost their bid to stop this during the Obama administration. Now, remember, it doesn't matter who's president. Anyone could have been president at that time. We're a corporate structure. We're run by the corporation, and certainly PepsiCo is a massive corporation. So during the Obama administration, uh, and sadly, on February 28th of 2012, the President's Security and Exchange Commission ruled that PepsiCo's use of aborted fetal human tissue remains in their research and development agreement with Cinemix to um, produce flavor enhancements falls under ordinary business operations. So we're going to talk about uh, a list of products. You should not be consuming these products. Um, all soft drinks and Pepsi. All drinks Sierra Mist. All drinks Mountain Dew all in beer, mug, root beer, and Pepsi, drinks of no fear, um, ocean spray, Seattle's best coffee, all brands of energy drinks, all brands, Aquafina water, double shot, some of the fa fa frappuccinos, Gatorade, they go on, Tropicana, all products of Nestle, including coffee creamers, instant soups, bouillon cubes, ketchup, sauces, instant noodles, etc. Bubble gum, chiclets, clarets, dentine, um, trident. There's many other lists of gums as well. You need to, to look at this for yourself. They talk about Cadbury Adams candies, and they mention the original gummies and many other Cadbury um, candies as well. Certs and Halls, cough drops. The company produces, uh, there are also companies that produce anti wrinkle creams containing the cells of aborted babies as well, of 14 weeks gestation. And there's a list of the creams that we need to understand have the aborted fetal tissue in it as well. So I can only say, Sean, we do not have a government. We are being literally fried cooked by these frequencies. It's like being in a microwave oven. We need to understand how they're going to do away 
with mass populations in the United States through resilient cities and the words um, infrastructure changes after weather weapon assaults. This is what they're doing. Again, they're deploying cameras all over. They plan them in all the states with infrared, as I said earlier, to track and monitor our movements in real time, 24-7, 365. And I liken this to a deadly video game gone live. 